So APA is starting a new journal called Technology, Mind and Behavior. It is APA's first open source, open access journal. So they're very excited about it. I'm really excited about it because it covers a lot of the areas that I've been doing my entire career. I do consider myself a psychologist at, at heart, but I do a lot of research in computer science and linguistics and education and technologies. And um, it really captures me as a person because I've been investigating how technology can reveal mind and behavior as well as how it can enhance it. For me, it's really exciting because it's like the first journal I've ever accepted a nomination to be an editor because being an, uh, an associate editor is so much easier. Um, but uh, this really excited me because it really uh, will, I'll learn a lot and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Well, oh, first I'll talk about open access because that that is fundamental to the new journal. The reason why it's important is because it gives access to everyone, everyone who might not have the means to um, access um, publications. Here, for example, we can access anything because the library is large enough and, and we, have the, we have the facilities to do that. But many people don't, particularly in countries outside of the United States. So it's a way of opening up science to everyone. And so it's kind of the wave of the, so I wouldn't say the wave of the future, it is the current wave. So uh, APA is jumping on board of that and it's just amazing working with APA. They are so efficient and so good and so, um, well, they're just fantastic. It's the best journal I've ever worked with.